what crapping on. Moving on. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Midway Mutants battle. The Leveland Burns. Hi, this is Grim Blitzrow, and welcome to the Mutant Football League. We'll be right back for kickoff, but first, let's listen in on the pregame speech. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cattle litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just use your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish! I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. First and ten. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Eh, big deal. Mr. Meat for Braves ran with a ball and didn't fall down. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's a pick. And now the quarterback is cursing the defense, his receiver, the coach, everyone but himself. And he's the one that threw the ball. Finds open space is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. The kick is good. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. You've got to 
take the ball better than that. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. One speed, engage. When he tried to play slow, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. Third down and nine. Hot, hot one. Couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And that'll be a touchback. I don't feel comfortable giving him a size while we're broadcasting, Grim. And it's first and ten. This guy just blew up and he's on fire. Oh, welcome to Bubble Town, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, you get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Some people go to car. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. <laughs> and catch. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Good 
return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. Oh, the worm swallows him whole and goes down like the last shot of whiskey in an Irish wake. You know, my wife went to Scotland. She came home with a Scottish tapeworm. Not a big eater, though, so that's good. More of a drinker, really. Passed off by 18-year-old McCallum the other morning at the breakfast table. another turnover for the defense and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point and a well-placed cleat <laughs> and it's first and ten looks like the defense called the ginormous dirty trick that's a whole lot of player right there and that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. Stunt the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and lives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. dirty trick. Play is usually good for a quick And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and they've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Rip, can I kill a 
Oh, I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get... Oh, man, he really wants it! Oh, with a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy had yeah, for one game they weren't the worst. The Cleveland Burns win. There's something to hang your hat on, Cleveland. After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, did I ever tell well, you about the Well, let's listen to the, the MVP. Time? I'm hey. sure he has something inspiring to say. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy. Shit, what up?